Hello everyone. Welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is liquidity coverage ratio. This topic relates to economy section of the UPSC CSE syllabus. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, has released the final guidelines on the Basel III liquidity coverage ratio, LCR, framework. Revising the earlier proposals made in July 2024, the new rules, which will come into effect on the 1st of April 2026, apply to all commercial banks, with certain exceptions like payments banks, regional rural banks, RRBs, and local area banks. The revised guidelines are expected to improve banks' LCR by approximately 6 percentage points at an aggregate level reflecting a balanced response to feedback from the banking industry. Before moving further, an important announcement. The next offline batch of the IASGS Foundation course, Prelims plus Mains, is starting soon at Drishti IAS, Noida. The English medium batch will begin on 7th May at 8 a.m. and the Hindi medium batch will start on 29th April at 6 p.m. For more details, contact 8750 one eight seven five zero one. Now let's discuss about liquidity coverage ratio LCR. The LCR is a regulatory standard developed by the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision, designed to ensure banks have sufficient liquidity to meet short-term obligations during times of financial stress. The LCR requires banks to hold a buffer of high-quality liquid assets, HQLA, that can cover net cash outflows over a 30-day stress scenario. HQLA includes assets like government securities and AAA-rated corporate bonds. For example, if a bank expects 120 rupees in outflows and 100 rupees in inflows over a month, it must hold 20 rupees in liquid assets to cover the shortfall. Now moving on to impacts. The new rules will ease the burden on banks by reducing the liquidity buffer they must maintain. This allows banks more flexibility while ensuring they still maintain adequate liquidity during financial stress. Trusts, LLPs and partnerships will benefit from the reduced liquidity requirement on wholesale deposits, making it easier for these entities to access banking services. Now let's discuss about Basel III. Basel norms or Basel Accords are the international banking regulations issued by the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision. The Basel Committee has issued three sets of regulations, which are known as Basel 1, 2 and 3. In 2010, Basel 3 guidelines were released. These guidelines were introduced in response to the financial crisis of 2008. A need was felt to further strengthen the system, as banks in the developed economies were undercapitalized, overleveraged and had a greater reliance on short-term funding. It was also felt that the quantity and quality of capital under Basel II were deemed insufficient to contain any further risk. Now is the time for practice question. What is the purpose of the liquidity coverage ratio, LCR, in Basel III? A. Ensure liquidity for long-term obligations. B. Ensure liquidity for short-term stress. C. Provide asset buffer for international operations. D. Regulate commercial bank lending. Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.